Hi and welcome. In this video I want to talk to you about the reject photos feature in Adobe Bridge to help you get a little bit more organized. Now when you come back from a shoot you probably will have a lot of files to process. Now some you will be excited to work on straight away and some you may think will be useful but not for today. Having them there could be confusing and add to your visual load when scrolling up and down. What we want is to have all the images in one folder, all in plain view, but anything we don't think useful today to disappear from view. Now the files would not be deleted, just hidden from view. Now with the reject feature in Adobe Bridge, you can reduce the shots that you have to look at without deleting a single one. And I'm sure most will have experienced delete remorse. I know I have. When you delete an image you thought you would never use and then you want it back at a later date. So today I'll be showing you how to reject photos that I don't want to see and keep visible photos that I do. Then I'll show you how to hide the rejected images so they are not visible anymore. And lastly, show you how to unhide the rejected images and if you need to, to unreject them. Poof. That sounded like a right mouthful that, didn't it? OK, let's get stuck in. OK, now all the action happens in the content pane. Now here I've got some images. I mean, you could have 200, 300 images in here. Um, I'm just going to show you with these few. But let's imagine that I want images for a particular project. And there's some of these images that I don't think are suitable, but they may be suitable in the future. So I don't want to delete them. I just want to get them out of my face. OK, so first thing I've got to do is to select them. So I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm going to click on the ones that I, I want to select. So let's say that one. I, want, I don't want that one to be visible. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. We'll get rid of that one. We'll say that's not a good one either. OK, but they may be useful in the future, but not for this project, not for what I'm doing today. So now I've selected them, I can reject them. And I can do that by going up to the Label menu and hitting Reject. Or there's a keyboard shortcut on the Windows machine of Alt plus Delete. And on the Mac machine, it'll be Option and Delete. And if I click on that, you can see now that all those four images have the word Reject in red underneath them. So they are now rejected. Now that's stage one complete that we've actually designated these as rejected images. The next thing is to hide them because I don't want to see them. I still want them to be there, but I don't want to see them. So what I can do now is I can go up to the view menu and you can see here that I've got show rejected files and, sh and basically that is ticked. So obviously that means that they are visible. But if I untick that, then boom, they disappear. But they're still there. If I want to bring them back, then all I've got to do is go to the view menu and then show reject files. And I've got to put a tick in there and it'll bring them back for me. Now, what about unrejecting photos? Now, there is a menu item for rejecting photos. So logically, there should be a menu item to unreject them. Well, if there is, I can't find it. Now, after a bit of brainstorming, I found a way to do it. Now, as the reject menu item is in the label menu, it's classed as a label. So to unreject the photos that I initially rejected, I've got to select each of the thumbnails first. So I can click on that one. And this time I can hold the shift key down and click on that one. So I've now selected all of them. And I can go up to my Label menu and I can select No Rating. And this will take away that rating of Rejected. And you'll see there, if you looked quickly, you'll see that there is a keyboard shortcut of Control and Zero. So Control and Zero will unreject because it will change the rating to No Rating. And you can see now that all the images are back in full circulation. Well, I hope this post helps you with getting organised in Adobe Bridge. 
often you can cool the deletes quickly. They're out of focus, they're badly exposed, but there are always going to be images that you want to keep but just don't want them in your face today. For that, the Adobe Bridge Reject feature is a winner. OK, well, I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this and thought it was useful, then please give me a like. Drop onto my website, Live Link Training, and click the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.